Good morning, traders, and uh, welcome to the Bookmap Pro Trader webinar series for today, uh, December 9th. Today we have J Trader, uh, and I'm going to explain a little bit about the uh, the education or the, um, the webinar today. Uh, it's going to be like we always do. This is going to be part of our Bookmap. It's part of our Bookmap Advanced Education. Uh, it's live trading uh, with U.S. Equities order flow that J Trader does every Wednesday. So. Uh, let me uh, get J Trader in the room. I know I know he's here already, so he's ready to go. Um, and uh, let me just uh, give him um, access here. Hold on just a moment. Getting there, getting there, Joseph. Hang hang tight. There you are. Okay. Morning, traders. There you are. Good morning, Bruce. Good morning, Bookmap. <laughs> Good morning, Joseph. How are you doing? Uh, in a rush because we were trading eight stock this morning. Uh, beautiful morning, so can't wait to start. Okay, okay. So I, I'm sorry. I, I will have to kind of um, go through a few uh, formalities here beforehand. Uh, Joseph, it'll take a, a couple minutes, and then we'll jump right in. Um, but uh, as I was saying, everyone, uh, that uh, this is uh, our, you're, you're getting uh, free access basically to our Bookmap Advanced Education. Uh, when you subscribe to Bookmap, this is part of what you get. Uh, on um, You get the advanced webinars, you get the educational course. Webinars are daily. Okay? They're not hindsight education, it's forward looking. And then Wednesdays, we have Joseph. He trades live. Uh, he's an equities trader. On Thursday, we have Scott Pulsini. He's a futures trader. He will trade live, okay? Uh, this is what you get as uh, part of the education. All right, so um, anyway, let's uh, go through the uh, some of the disclosures here. General disclosure, uh, all bookmap limited materials, information, and presentations are for educational purposes only and should not be considered specific investment advice nor recommendations. Live trading is in simulation paper um, demo paper trading mode and strictly for educational purposes live trading executed in simulation cannot accurately represent realistic trading performance risk disclosure trading futures equities and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors an investor could potentially lose all or more than the initial investment risk capital is money that can be lost without jeopardizing one's financial security nor lifestyle only risk capital should be used for those uh, for trading and only those with sufficient risk capital should consider trading. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. Uh, quick introduction um, of uh, Joseph or Jay Trader. Uh, he's been trading for quite a while since he was 18 years old uh, and um, started off with uh, European equities and warrants, covered warrants like, uh, like options, uh, trading very big size uh, even early on. Uh, and he's, he's mainly uh, tape reading, okay, order flow trading. Uh, and um, uh, focuses on uh, scalping uh, the level two and wish he had book map back in those days. Uh, today, J Trader mainly uh, uh, trades mainly futures, uh, U.S. equities, and options, and is the main trader at his small cap room. Uh, here is his contact information. I will put this into the chat uh, throughout the webinar, so that if you want to reach out, you like what J Trader does, and you you want uh, some of his educational services, you've got his email, you've got his website. Etc. All right. There's also some special deals from J Trader. Okay, that are, are we get we give to our educator partners. Uh, you can get some longer term special deals here. Again, I will put this link into the chat. Moreover, there's one more thing I need to cover, and I'm putting this link into the chat right now. Uh, is the um, there is a special on Bookmap for the first month. So this is for first time users. Uh, we're going to continue this on Wednesday, uh, but I'm putting a link in here for you, or I'm sorry, a coupon code. Okay, now it's only for Global or Global Plus for the month, and it's only 50, it's 50% 50 off for the first month. So if you want to try Bookmap, uh, this is a great uh, uh, method here for uh, for trying it. Try it for a month, see if you like it, it's, it's half off. Okay, uh, and the only reason that we're offering it now for those attending the webinars is let's say that you're really interested in uh, some of these, uh, uh, some of the uh, subjects that uh, uh, the presenters are going over, and you you're, you want to try Bookmap right now, you got it. You can just trade, uh, or um, you can uh, get Bookmap for 50% uh, off, and uh, and get get involved in the trading. All right, so uh, let's uh, turn it over to Jay Trader, uh, and he will take it away.
Good morning, traders. Good morning, Bruce, again. Good morning, Bookmap. Uh, Bruce, only one uh, second of test. Do you see the monitor good over here, quality? Yep, everything looks great. Okay, thank you very much. So this market, traders, uh, December 2020, uh, I saw a lot of Decembers. Uh, I think I never saw a December with such volume, uh, with good stocks in both uh, class assets. So uh, small and mid caps, uh, so trend. This morning, uh, I was looking at Apple, uh, QS, uh, Tesla, Netflix for the big caps. And for the small caps, all these on top over here, Chris, CNET, Entec, Friend, Archon, XBio. Uh, if you are a beginner trader, take one stock, maximum two per day. Start paper trading, only take the uh, A plus setups in paper, and then start building your paper trading account. When you are confident, when you are consistent, you start moving to a live account. Uh, if you are an advanced trader, uh, you should focus on between three and five stocks, professional trader, eight, 10, even 12 stocks. Uh, the point for me is to have everything under control. So I have uh, one other monitor uh, for uh, charts. I run between eight and 10 on there. I screen share each morning two stocks and two book map. And uh, what is uh, what you always want to take? Buy the dip and short the top, okay? So basically you don't want to buy the dip. You want to buy the lowest point. Correct. And what you want to do in this uh, market? You want to buy, you want to short, sorry, or to sell the highest point. All right. I think this is the most important, uh, I would say, skill to gain when you're trading. There are a lot of strategies out there. I can tell you what's been working for me. I've been doing this job for years. Started small caps only in the last two years and a half, thanks to my friend and pro trader smash the bid. Um, and what I seen on the big caps for years and on the futures, I also uh, developed for the small caps. So I brought my J lines, I brought my patterns and I modified them and back test them for the small caps. The proof that I give to trading is totally statistical and analytical. It's not discretionary, it's not I'm just looking at order flow. Order flow is my confirmation. Without, I couldn't take my trades. So I don't simply look, for example, for a dip buy because I have a support, an RSI, or any kind of moving average. I look at that, and then I have to look for order flow confirmation. A lot of traders ask me, what's the main difference between a normal level two uh, and bookmap? Bookmap gives you the depth of the market, so when at this morning we're here, for example, at 125, okay, on this under over, you see it, uh, this big uh, dot green, you can never see uh, this soaking, this absorbing uh, when you are in, uh, in your normal level two. I mean, you will see the times of sales, all the orders, but you can never see the amount of uh, volume traded exactly at level, 522,000 plus you cannot see once you're over here the resistance already formed above at 126 and the amount of sellers that we had over here okay so the point for me is to use this as the main picture the main window and then through the chart we go to trade the details so first thing i'm going to cover apple i'm going to cover x bio and i'm going to cover this morning and tech apple over here you can see my plan this morning was to look for a long. Why? Breakout of the 125, I said, will lead to a move, possible move to 130. So I need to go check the previous resistances, okay, on Apple and see what is the next big resistance. In this case, this 127, 127 and 20. When I go back to my intraday chart and we can use a one minute a five minute whatever we start looking at this trend and i'm gonna make it a little bit bigger over here so you can see it better so we can see that once we break this level so let me put uh, a line over here once we break this level 
okay this red line let's take off this let's take off this okay once we break this uh red level that 124.50 that's your on the over so we go above the opening level we have a resistance placed exactly over here a big resistance 125 okay so even if we take along an on the over that is not for me an a plus setup because above i have this big resistance the setup itself is very powerful it's an under over so we go below the open level we go below the j line so this blue line over here uh use that as a guide and when we go above and we close above that's my entry and on the second bar over here but for the reason that above i have a 125 bookmap resistance i know that this stock could do like this, push, and then reject the 125 and go all the way down. So I want to see a clear uh, removal of this liquidity over here on the ask at 125 and push. So I would long at 125, 125 and 20, risking just 20 cents or 30 cents below and taking this big move. When I'm looking at this stock, I need to have a target. Okay, target will be always given by higher lows, breakdown, so you can see higher low over here, higher low over here, and then over here we have the breakdown, exactly 125 and 67, which if you see on our chart is exactly this level over here. So when we go below the 90 May and we curl below the 90 May, what I have as main possible I would say parameter that we will have, and let me clear over here, we will have a possible rejection. This huge amount of resistance, okay? If you see over here, traders, we have exactly 272,000 uh, sellers, okay? Volume over here, uh, cumulative volume, that they are soaking already at 124 and 90s, 125 and 90, sorry, and they start to downtrend. Okay, so that's the reason why I will look for a reversal or to sell the majority of my position exactly this level. If we pass to X by Yo, uh, this morning, the setup over here was uh, pretty clear for, sorry, pretty clear the first bar for a long in the open. So we had a support at 380 and right away pushed all the way up. If we check, this setup uh, is a clear cup pattern exactly over here surely to get this to buy this you have to be super quick so what i was looking over here x by o let's go back and then we'll move to to live okay but i think this is important to understand the setup that i'm looking at so you see the vwap is consolidating over here five ten minutes before the open okay at this level over here and at the open you see the big dot over here? They sold something like 200,000, okay? They soaked it, so seeing that somebody absorbed all the sellers, they formed the support on book map, they start curling, and right away at 390, we had a breakout. Exactly 390, we had a cup pattern breakout, and then you can take the long. Surely this is a scalp, goes up, goes up, sorry, for 30, 40 cents, I find some resistance, and then we have uh a pullback okay but that's the precise idea that you're looking at the gate you look for the support you look for the soap or absorber as you can call it and then you look for the long and where to look for a short remember i always say look for shorts when longs are trapped so in this case we start looking at our chart this is a stock that is above pre-market high so i will never trade a short after the first five minutes unless we have a big stuff and you can see over here a first time we have a rejection big sell off rejection big sell off and then we have this breakout huge volume over here break at 545 if you look over here at 545 traders exactly at 955 We have this move, this move you can see over here 
big move going almost parabolic so we cannot have any more push and right below that 540 which is that top that top over here was 538 just below that 540 that is a stuff and becomes your fast wash look how you have over here we can see it very good you see how it grinds up grinds up okay so it grinds and then you have a big wash so that's the stuff that you're looking only pretty short if you have something like this. Vice versa, right now is on the uh, J line support. So we can see over here, we are at the J line support. You can see that four dollar number. We have some support over here. We're still holding the uh, J lines. We're still holding the uh, four dollar area. We're bouncing, we're above the open level. So I will be waiting over here. Stand 15 over here below VWAP, not looking to trade this at the moment, okay? So I'm waiting for uh, this set over here. Let's look next one. Entech. So Entech, all right, a couple of setups. So looking this morning to play this as a gap and crap. How to play, play a gap and crap? Looking for the J lines. I'm looking for the VWAP, and I'm looking for these two levels over here, which they only tell me where is the pre-market consolidation. Okay, so I know that on a kind of tape like this, I'm looking for those levels to short. If you look over here, each time we go, I'm looking on book map, okay, traders. Each time we go above seven, exactly to the uh, VWAP level, this white line, we have a big soak, fail, break of the resistance, boom, right away flush. This is the first wash. Secondary over here, you have another VWAP, boom. Third one, fake breakout, exactly over here, again to that seven, soak, and then big wash. And I always teach to trade not the first bar, and now over here, who falls, uh, who's of a small cap room will know what I'm saying. Don't trade the first bar. Whether you have that pop, start fading, you take the rejection. That pop, where the push starts fading, and you take the rejection. Each time I'm looking at this pattern and I'm looking at the order flow over here. So I'm looking for the fake breakout, big circle green over here. Boom, you're short right away below. Okay. So let's start watching for other possible plays. So XBio is still bouncing over here, Archon downtrending, Entech over here, like CNET fading. Uh, let's look XBio. Seems the most interesting. So the VWAP. So basically, I want to wait this exactly what I told you just now at 460, okay? The reason why, unless the stuffs, I'm not going to trade it, unless the stuffs, is because we are not in a downtrend scenario, like for the other two, uh, stocks and tech and uh, CNET, this is uptrending still, still above the one minute J-Lens, okay? So still curling for a possible move. You see over here, we form a resistance at that 464. So let's see if we can have a second bar, ideally, with this kind of risk. Somebody's soaking the 450 right away below. Maybe we'll flush in the first bar, nothing. Not looking to trade, okay? I would prefer to look for a first bar oh, stuff, and this was not stuffing, this was only stalling with there or a second bar rejection. So waiting. Let's see. And tech. So at our support. was halted over here, 
for a big uh, volatility halt. See the big dump of basically one buck traders in a few minutes, all right? It's a big wash over here. Now, simply done trending all the longs, and that's the process behind why they're dumping. Besides, in fact, being uh, fluff news, the company, we know the fundamentals and everything. When you're looking to short, what I said before, when longs are trapped, when longs will be trapped, when they will buy on a breakout of the VWAP, same on the on the bear on the bear trap, right? When they're looking to short on a breakdown, and when they're uh, looking to buy, uh, hold on a number, seven, seven, seven. Okay. So not only one, but two times we have longs over here, and those are the biggest volume that traded on this chart. Two times we trap the longs, and now I see play on one. Okay. So trading is knowing which setups you want to trade, knowing the stock. So if it has history of uh, fading, history of downtrending, or history of curling and pushing and long. So right now, when it starts to be 10.20, 10.30, I'm only looking to trade in the direction of the main trend. So when tech is going down, that means I will be looking for pops into the 9MA or pops into the day lines to short. Let's see Apple. So holding and curling on the one minute day lines. So let's see over here if we can have a possible long scenario. You see the support we form at 125? If we have a fake breakdown of 125, that would push me more to take the long. So it dipped, soak at that 125. So you can start your long over here. Risking 10 cents in this case. And on the break of the curl over here, 125 and 20, you can add more. So liquidity over here, 125 and 15 simply went. So we're buying a support, looking for a curl up. J lines is curling over here. Seems curling, 18. Always remember to put your stop loss because we can have a very fast, okay, broke over here, 23. So now we'll be looking for a dip, try a little bit more. So you're looking to buy dips and I'm looking to buy bid. It's pushing over here right now. So I'm not going to chase. You see over here, we're holding the NMA. Now I bring my stop to break even. So you move your stop to break even. You can do it mentally or simply like putting your stop break even traders. And we're looking for that push again to 125 and 50. Okay. The point over here was to add on the breakout, but I want to buy the dip ideally be, uh, near that 90. Okay. This uh, level over here. Is it clear the process of this? So we have support and book map. They fake the breakdown over here, they soak. So when it's bouncing over here, you see this micro curl, and you long over here, okay? You long it. And now you put your stop break even, looking for at least four R. So I was risking 10 cents. I'm going to look for my trade for at least three, four R return. If it doesn't work, I'm cutting it in the money around 14, 15. So that I pay commissions and I pay everything. Always be careful because you can have a fast wash any moment. Okay. So right now, what I want to see: 125 and 20 holding, and then pushing more. Let's 
So it's looking over here at the sellers, we have I'm looking at the red print sometimes in sales. That's for me the most important thing I'm looking right now. I'm looking if I have big orders selling. And right now I see nobody selling big. This is what you have to look when you're trading, okay? It's all green over here. It's all green. If I start seeing more sellers, more red boom, I'm getting out before I have my stop loss trigger or even my trailing stop. I'm trying to form a support. You see MB, MBBO is the arc at one level, all right, over here, form at 125 and 24. They're trying to dump it and at 125.20, which is also my dotted uh, dot orange line on the chart, is a support I'm looking for a bounce. And there with the 9MA will also uh, simultaneously be for a possible add to my entry. So right now the setup is uptrend, curl up one minute day lines. broke you simply get out in the money and that's it not working no big deal out in the money okay so you're basically free no risk over here why it didn't take profit first target over here is 125.50 and also you can see that on book map this was the first resistance okay so now we wait for a possible what a secondary entry but we always need volume so i want to see the tape three fourth green. This is the way to manage your position. Take the long and the bounce on the dip. You have a tight stop. You're looking for three, four hour return at least. And then it doesn't work. You stop in the money. You don't need to take a stop loss to lose money. If you see already it's coming down below that 125 and 20, you take out. Uh, let's look at X by O. Seems moving over here. I'm looking at the charts. So again, you can see that V up over here. This time is a little bit different. So they're trying two times over here to break it. So we can prepare for a long. I'm not looking anymore to short. As I said, this market, if it holds 10, 10, 15 above open level, look for long traders, okay? Always have to be very careful because on the longs you can have a stuff, but I'm looking for low risk. Always my risk for a four, $55 stock will be between two, really two cents and 12 cents. Maybe take one or two stops before the good one. You see the liquidity removal over here, 465. So I'm looking for the cup pattern over here. There we have a possibility of curl. I'm looking at 465 over here, okay, where we had the previous algo. And my stop, if I enter, I need already to know where's my stop. Will I be like, you know, with the mouth open wide, not knowing where to take the stop? Or no, I know already my stop and my entry was ma will be maximum 10 cents. That's it. Why I'm looking to trade this? I'm looking, first of all, a curl of the VWAP. I'm looking for uh, bars to build over here a position. I'm looking for this kind of pattern, which is an ascending triangle. Then I am over here as your guide traders. Below four over here, below 440, instead we'll have a wash. Why? It's curling down the 90 May. So let's look for the 440 breakdown. That's the first liquidity you see over here on the ask 440 support. If we have that fail, we'll probably go all the way down to 430 and ideally 420. 
and you see the drop over here, the 440, that's what I'm looking at. Why? It's not a, an A plus setup short, as I said, for the time, for being still above the open level, but because we have this curl down over here. Okay, just explaining you the tape over here, nothing more. So we have X by O, Apple still not curling, and tech on the support, CNET below the support. interesting on the possible reclaim so over here manipulators are really playing good interesting if you reclaim this 440 and we close below the 90 let's watch chris I'm waiting for this day two So look over here, traders. This is a five minute chart, okay? Look the use that I have of the um, yellow band and of the uh, purple band, okay? When I look at uh, overextended plays, I'm always looking for uh, this uh, yellow and purple band over here, between the band. And I'm looking for a fail and curl down and ideally I want to see this uh, blue band over here below the the yellow band. So uh, on a Sono, on ARO, even on big caps or DPW, uh, SPI, all these uh, second day plays, I've been looking for this setup and it worked very good. Um, so right now, this morning, I had no setups, not at all, no short, no long, and simply waiting. Generally, the setup happens between 11 and 2 p.m. Okay, let's look at XBIO since curling again. I think is the most interesting over here. So let's see if we have always a soak, a stuff, breakout for now. Stalling the tape. Still pushing, stalling. If the bids will come off, short scalp very fast over here risking three cents bids are stalling short of 68 risking three cents risking that 474 only for a stall of the tape this is tape reading totally pure tape reading You're building again the 470, rejecting. Four sixty-nine, four seventy. Out, simply out faster. I waited one second a little bit more. Wanted to take the 470 over here. This was only tape reading, looking for a stall, scalp, no A plus set. See over here, still stalling, still looking for a direction. One minute J lines is the guide. Curling small. So it's curling again over here. Let's see if it curls more. 482. Again, below that level, uh, main for me, previous resistance 465.
So what I will be looking for now, the A plus setup would be this EMA above the BWAP, max juicy curl, and long above 482. That would be the A plus setup. But I'm always looking for the support, in this case, the support that we have traders is this J lines, okay? So that's for X bio, Apple fading, and tax support. Four eighty two. And you see over here why this is not an A plus setup because right away they put some 49 over here resistance. So possible failed push over here. Let's see the 480 if they hold. Look at micro support. Okay, now maybe they have more green power. Okay, now we'll probably go above five because you have all this green passing. You wanna see a 490 break, then right away, very fast, a five break. You don't wanna see stall over here, boom, like this, five will go. Okay, you see the difference, didn't stall and simply went from a normal cut pattern on the nine eight. So now the target of this is new highs or four or five forty. Let's look in the meantime, NTEC. Okay, still fading. More interesting over here, X by Yo. Strong tape, look at the volume, 2.25 million, 1 million this bar over here. And everything started where? From the one minute JLens. Same on uh, CAS, same on DPW, same on EARS, uh, same when we have big trends on Tesla, on Apple, uh, same yesterday on Chris or LXRX. This is the main guy. These are my fib expansion moving average 7289. Okay. That with these rules looking for dips, curl up, they play with very high win rate. So they're still holding this five dollar level. That's the important level you have to look at. I always look at the amount of sellers. If we have big ones or only small sellers. For now, it seems a flag with a 520 near breakout. Three inside bars, sorry, two inside bars. This is the fourth one. So or breakdown or breakout. If we have a 520 breakout, boom, this will lead to 540. If we have a breakdown over here, it will lead to the J lines and the, sorry, to the 9 and over here, 480. But it's still not backside, okay? This is still a trend. The 9 and is still holding. So we can have a possible dip below the 9 and curl up above the 9 and and take a scalp long.
remember, do not look to trade the daily breakouts. But even if we have a daily breakup, in this case, we had over here the 456 right in the morning. The 456 breakout. Don't look to buy the breakout over here because often we have failed all the way down, right? So wait to wait for the breakout, look to buy dips near support stop, and then you wait for the push. Over here, they only one bar over here, right away, close the bubble here, waiting to add, want to see a cup pattern or an under over. And I use often uh, bar charts because back in uh, starting the thousand and the nineties, I was very young and I was using these, uh, but you can use the candlestick, I use those as well. For me, it's more clear to see the patterns like this because I start often uh, to interpret right away the setup from the way that the bar opens. If below, <coughs> sorry, if below the premium close or above. So over here now is giving a good setup with the 499 breakout. Let's see. And over looking for this break over here, the pattern. Again, what you can see traders inside bars over here. Okay, so if you don't want to see all these bars, I also run a five minute chart looking things as well on the five minutes. And then I use the confirmation on book map over here. But basically, you're looking to buy that bid And you're looking for that breakout, looking for a fast call, knowing your risk. So right now we have an out over there. You see this is stuff, so I'm gonna risk over here this low, 485. Needs to break that liquidity 495. And then to have a scalp for the long, this is only a re-entry in the direction of the main trend. So it goes over there, 504. Let's see if we can have a break or another stuff. Should push above 510. So you can sell on the ask over here. If we have that push at 505, 506, 07, sell half. Sorry, one third. Now you are stopping the money. Sell that resistance at 510. And then you can simply hold it to your uh, half position traded with a stop break even so break even we have 496 we risked that 496 five is your support so now we're looking for 530 okay let's see if it holds out in the money not paying so we get it this is just a scalp way okay and then if i have another result of scalp we'll do the same this is just scalping the main target. Sorry, the main support where I want to enter long is this dip over here or this or this. Why? Curls on the one minute J lines. That's my main target to long. Over here, we'll see if we have other entries then for long. For now, the stock, as it is trending, can come, can get to 530, 540, 550. All right. Don't try to short this over here because you don't have any kind of pattern. Unless the big stuff digs a lot that tells you this will go down. Let's see. Tesla breakout. 
beautiful over here. Okay, so break out one minute J-lines, careful because we're still below the three minute J-lines, all right? And remember what I told you before, the support and resistance on bookmap are generally at the dollar number, and the big ones are the whole round dollar number. Okay, so 635, 640, 645, 650, and so on. Breakout X by O. And there we have the 535, 40. So this is another pattern breakout. Maybe you can see it better. Uh, even here, you see that again, the curve with the 90 May. You can see it better, I think, on the five minute chart. Okay, so a bar down, open, weak, and push, break of this bar 520. So beautiful tape. It will stay on X by Yo. Look at the removal that liquidity over here. Simply fantastic. They're building 550. Soaking big at 560 over here, traders. Look at the green, look at the green, boom. This is the play. J lines, Caroline push. Simply the play. Seems seemed like looking at Chris of yesterday or Alexa Rex. So don't try to find the top tick. Look always to trade in the direction of the main trend. So you will be looking for trap short, long, trap short, long, All right? Okay, let's look traders together at CNET, possible short ad coming. Possible shortcoming, yes. And I would like to see a 240, 250 top and short. We'll start with a feeler. Okay, so short and dash feeler over here at 229. Only because it's rejecting the J lines over here, but basically I want to short. Say you have like 10,000 shares or 5,000 shares. We'll look to short over here because this is a pattern I look to short this time of the day with this volume. And only after the rejection, and ideally, I want to see a trend break over here. I'm looking to short size, okay? Feeler, you can get in like one tenth of your position. So 5,000 share, you enter between three and 500. And then on the back side, you trade the rest. Always short on the ask. So add liquidity. With many brokers, you will have rebates. If you cover bid or short the ask, or if you buy bid and sell the ask. So that's what I suggest to you. X by you is going, so don't even try to think to short it. It will require some time, the formation of the pattern of CNET. So the gray zone is where I want to take the position. Basically, I'm going to show you what I'm looking over here. Okay, traders, just one second. I'm going to show you exactly what I'm looking at. Okay. So this was Nuro yesterday, all right? 
So I'm looking for that trend over here, break, boom, to short over there, okay? This is J line 72. This is the three minute J lines above, shifting below the five. Looking for that same signal over here. You see, we have some resistance just below. I like to see this. Let's add another small over here on the ask. Let's add on the ask. I want to see some optics. And for this, you can raise to 233. Let's see if we get filled. Canceled one. Can always, sorry, can always cancel over here. Put again your orders. See if we can have a pop to 29 to 30. X by O still trending. So finding support at that level and curling again at the 90 May. So we have some seller now to 40. You see it, traders over here. This is what I want to see. 236, 240, they're stacking a little bit. So that's level I'm looking at. Sorry. This is the level I'm looking at. We have our trend line. Stacking more. Oh, damn it. Sorry, I made a mess over here. We're looking to short over here. We have that 236 to 50, sorry, 236 to 40 is where I want to short size. If we don't have that level, we'll trade small because we're not at the level we want, okay? So what you can do, raise your supports. In this case, support is given by a trend line. This is simply a bull flag, right? Sorry, a bear flag. What is a bear flag? Downtrend, you have uh, a set of higher lows. You see over here, higher lows, higher lows, and then you have that break on possibly coming over here. So we're looking to trade that, uh, that fail, right? We have that fail. I will add on, ask again. Do you see the algo is coming down? So very easy thing to spot. very slow very slow i know it's more interesting if we look at something like x bio i mean did this all right i know it's more interesting to see this wanted to show you a rejection if we can have this fade okay let's leave it there for now okay let's put one second x bio you will update me traders actually i'm looking at the monitor but you can always update me in the in the chat over here if you have uh if you see X bio moving, right? Uh, I mean, um, CNET moving. So what we have, the push over here, double top, 586, big wash, huge manipulation. And it's still not backside, right? Still not backside. Still holding and I'm not trying to J lines over here. And why I say J lines on the first day are more uh, way to go. So 
for example, yesterday you're looking at Chris. Hopefully this will, uh, you see Chris, what I told you, don't trade yet, still not backside. So this was Chris yesterday. You can see that all the pre mark all the, sorry, the, the open over here was always holding the one minute J lines. Then we start having the three minutes in the afternoon holding. Go back to X by O. Okay, curling down over here, possible wash coming, traders. On this bear flag, you can see the bear flag on XBIO very clear, possible wash coming to the 432, boom. You see it very, very clear over here. Stalling into that VWAP, boom, wash. Okay, not an easy fader because you have a ton of support, 450, you have the J lines, you have the VWAP, but practically, that's how to look for it. Watches stalling. We have five, six seconds over here. Tape not moving. Then you look for that boom, wash. Very, very predictable. Let's see again our CNAT and Apple. Trending, see that over here. All right, so we made a pop. So moving again on CNET over here. Looking to add into that. And we want only, as I said, you get in one tenth, if not, there are a target, okay? Using these uh, heat map over here. So when I say heat map are these orange levels, right? This, 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 you see one, two, three, four, five. I'm only looking to trade the J-line rejection or more fader into this heat map over here. And uh, the main position I want to take is this 238, 240, this area here. If I can't get over there, I won't size uh, weak. I will size only when I have tops and using instead the weeks, so the dips to cover. So this is how they like to manipulate over here with a seller jumping in again. So let's start seeing if we have some reds. When I say reds, it means red prints. You see 10,000, so they're still not selling as I want to see. So all the shorts that I took were all on the ask. You don't want to take short on the bid for the reason that you will get bigger stop losses if you trade short on the bid. Right now, our average is uh, 227 to 228. So we can risk even the 227 if things don't go good for the feeler, so basically break even. And we can revisit the 240, okay? But for now, still holding the 227. So over here on the S. We should see some failure down to 215. Let's see. Let's see with Bruce. Two twenty-two. Very slow. You see, start selling 15, 20,000. Want to see big sellers over here, 221. We want to see what the low over here, 210, right, traders? Doesn't go good. We start breaking. 222. This is only pizza money. Something like this, easily you can trade 10,000. 221, 220. Very easy setup, J line rejection. 
with the heat map over there. Now to 20, we have to see it. Do we have a soaker because we was the previous support or we can go more down? Channel is broken. We have nothing to, to fear over here. We have to stay in. Stop 227. Seller's still in. So patience, okay? Patience. Prepare always your stop loss, in this case in the money. X by I'm looking in the meantime, Twitter is still holding that one minute J lines, seems to be sick. So this is how to trade J line rejection. clear traders so you get a previous low go over there only pizza money okay you cover a half use the bit you take your fill you short 228 you cover a half over here 213 and that's it that's all that okay all that you have to do right now we're waiting for what too okay so we waited for one while over here <clears throat> And this is the same thing that you have to repeat each day. Why you're looking to trade this short and not long? Because it's not like X by O. It's below the open level. This is, I know see that very good. I'm sorry to say these words in the bookmark over here. It's a fluff company. So it's not really for the big trends. Generally has one, two days gaps and then feels the same day. Um, I know how it works a lot. I know how it moves. Once we feel the open level and we see this big sell off over here, I look to short only pops. So the fact that over here we have these big dots is only because we have some covers. Okay. But this if it continues like this, we'll have even 180 today. So, reason to stay in. All right, traders. Some good That's pizza stuff. money there. Pizza money over there, buddy. Pizza yeah, money not, over there. You know I love pizza. <laughs> pizza and sushi are the best. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, you got pizza money for a couple of weeks there. <laughs> Uh, uh, so the point is traders you have to trade this market and we were talking before with Bruce only when you have a clear setup okay don't say because you see a lot of things moving don't say who alerts uh, the trades who alerts uh, the, the entry levels instead learn a strategy and again uh, it's not because Bruce is telling me to say it over here sending messages <laughs> about uh, seriously, Bookmap is a very useful tool. I know a lot of pro traders use it. I use it in my trading every day, and I have a lot of pro traders uh, in the room using this as well. It's really a game changer. Um, the fact is, you can see how the big ads institutional, uh, I would say you have a niche. Otherwise, the retailer, like me, like you, like, I don't know, maybe Bruce is part of a big company, I know, <laughs> but the big uh, traders will always win on the retail. All those, so the market makers, uh, manipulations, uh, they have their class, offering, dilution, uh, pumps, uh, capital raise, reverse split, whatever. So by having a setup or two setups, which are part of a strategy, because strategy is made by setups and risk management, you can win your portion of the market. And this can be 10K a year, 100K a year, 1 million a year, or whatever. Okay, that's dependent from you. Pretty All right. Here. So a million a year sounds like a lot of pizza money there. <laughs> well, in a market like this, it's not hard to do it. Uh, 
only you have to have, I would say, even better than a strategy is a very good risk management. Yeah, and 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 also uh, I keep uh, reiterating this. I mean, every week you do this uh, webinar, uh, and you're just crystal clear on your setups. You know exactly what you're looking for. Thank you, Bruce. Thank you very much. Uh, the point is to be uh, consistent. You know, I always say I like you know to see big PNL. I'm very happy if somebody has big PNL like 50, even 100k in a day or a week. The point is I like. I'd like to see when that same trader that has big drawdowns in a day or in a week. So try maybe like to work a little bit more on discipline, to work on risk management, maybe to use for some time, a little less size, a little less risk. Because why I say that? Because I was the type of trader when I was uh, not in the first two years because I didn't have the capital. But when I built the capital, I was in each position between two and 300K and trading that like 10, 20, 30 times a day. So I was always all in. That's how I grew my account very fast. But now I don't teach that because it was stressful. I had, I had drawdowns. I had uh, panic attacks. I had uh, insomnia, uh, heart uh, beat rate. And I mean, managing risk, I think is one of the most important thing if you want to do this job on a long term. If you want to have one year biggest squat and run with your money, then okay, do it. But if you want to uh, last on the long run, do like the turtle, okay, not like the lion. All right, excellent, excellent stuff uh, as usual, um, uh, Joseph. Um, all right, so uh, I've, I've gone through most of the questions here uh and uh and answer them uh just one jerry was asking about and i don't think i've ever seen you do this joseph so i've i've answered that you wait for the curl but uh will you put a limit by like let's say it's coming down toward your j lines and um and just jump in but or do you always wait for the for the curl right very good question uh okay when I have, for example, let's say I want to buy on a drop over here to two, all right? Let's say I put the limit order. You need a limit order, but you also need a stop not just below the book map level over here, because what the market maker do often, they trigger below that support, ignore that. Longs are stopped, shorts uh, get in, then they reclaim it, on purpose so they're trapping the shorts the longs are already how because they're stop loss and then you miss your long okay so over here I'm gonna flat limit them. so the point for me what is is that if you want to have a tighter stop loss you wait for the price going over there or a soak or start seeing the bounce before taking the trade uh, you can use the limit orders it's correct Okay, but you also have to know that you can be failed, okay, or faked. Okay, so uh, Jerry, there's your answer. Uh, and um, uh, Joseph, uh, you know, you've been going for about an hour and 10 minutes now. Um, thank you very much. If there's any last words you want to part with here, uh, else we can, uh, we can wrap it up. Uh, Merry Christmas to everybody. <laughs> Sorry to be traders, but this is my mood. I've uh, been very good like last couple of weeks in trading. Uh, so uh, reach out to me and Bruce if you need help, like even an email. Uh, thank you very much for being here every day. Uh, sorry if I'm not, my English is not perfect. Uh, as I told you, I'm half uh, Italian over here, it's unreal. Uh, but Bruce is doing the, the good part. So thank you very much, everybody. Thank you, Bookmap, for uh, holding this, and see you next week. All right, thank you, Joseph. Take care, everybody. Thank you, very good.